G'day, this is Captain Ubin. This is a face breaker. This is a furious pair attack damage plus one strength unique power fist offered by the Steel Rain expansion. And you can get it fairly simply. Um, I won't tell you how, but I'll leave a link to a video by Tier in the description describing how you can get your hands on this thing because he needs more subscribers, so you better go and do that. So, looking at this thing, you'll notice how that's got the gold paint, very reminiscent of the Raider paint that you could get for the handmade and 50 cal where it's got the gold looking stuff on it with a little bit of greebling here and there and then the white stripes on it. I think it looks good and it's kind of disappointing that this skin wasn't available to buy on the Atom store or anything because this thing would have sold like hotcakes but it does give this thing a unique look and if you know another player is using this thing you'll definitely know what it is just because it looks really really cool. You can still apply the um, thing, you can, the skin you get from last season on it but um you kind of don't want to because it takes away from this unique skin here. wonder if chucking that on and going back to standard appearance make it makes it look like the standard gold power fist, like you strip the paint. Probably don't do that because you don't want to ruin what this thing looks like because it look, looks good. We've got the puncturing thing on, so we're doing 295 damage at the moment, which I quite like. Yes, yeah, so we'll improve that a little bit. And the reason we are getting so much more damage than what you would usually is because I've got a high strength. If your damage is slightly different, check your strength stat. Mine is at 29 right now, giving me a decent amount of damage. Yours may be higher or lower, depending on what your strength stat is. I'm going to take off Class Freak for a second because... Okay, 306. And then Class Freak goes back on, giving us 315. But if I look through my mutations, I was messing around with this stuff earlier. It doesn't look like I've got anything um, that it decreases my strength here. I'm not hooked on anything, so that's kind of really weird, and I don't know what that's all about, but apparently, maybe that's a bug. It's probably just a bug. Maybe someone in the comments who's actually a little bit more switched on can tell me what exactly is going on there. So we're going Blocker Barbarian for uh, defense, incisor, martial artist for offense, uh, passing through armor, swing faster. This is not going to be as fast as a swing speed variant. I've got a bloodied swing speed strength variant of a power fist, and it's pretty much my go-to weapon. I don't think it'll be this good, um, or as good as this, the face breaker, I mean. So, you know, we'll, we'll hope that it's good. The thing is about the power attack damage, sure, you can stack a lot more damage on per strike, but you'll find, um... With the uh, new legendary perk system is that most of these things are on a per hit basis. So you're actually... Shut up, Twitter. Go away, phone. Shit, that's my new phone. You'll find that a lot of these effects are due... Uh, they're procced per hit. So anything that has a slower swing, swing speed is going to be less effective with these perks. And uh, less useful. So that's something to worry about. Um, pretty much always go for swing speed if you can, but... Power attack damage, he can get good alpha strikes, I guess, for the sneak critical. But yeah, yeah, it's it's not ideal, but I'll take it. It's not the worst drops I've ever had. Plus, Furious is okay. Again, that would synergize better with faster swinging, but shut up, let's get started. Okay, so here's what's going to be happening with the Quickie Mart from now on. So, with the Steel Dawn update, they made this place an instant cell, filling it with leveled super mutants depending on your level which means we're going to be finding a lot of uh, good super mutants in here and um anyone wants to test this weapon at home you can have similar testing conditions so right now i'm sneaking which is pretty not the worst idea especially when i stack a power attack along with that and punch a dog in the face that seems to do a lot of damage but what you can do in vats you can't really power attack under normal circumstances i'm pressing alt to power attack if i um find something in vats and press alt it does nothing however we can forgo our ability to sneak attack if we just run around and sprint and hit stuff you'll find that it does the power attack automatically which is great unless the dog is like got its leg stuck in the bin there and it doesn't allow you to lock on the target and yeah that's not good but we're in this room now and that, that, didn't, that didn't work we'll go in and sprint and probably run out of ap in a sec what is it with dogs interfacing with technology here? This is abomination of technology. This is exactly what the Brotherhood of Steel was uh, warning us about back in Fallout 4. Now, I'm kind of out of AP now, so I've got to do the old hit and run here. Maybe I'll swing around and get him. 
There we go. Managed to get the power attack coming around the corner. Doing pretty well. Uh, you know, every time I play this, I get more and more used to the, uh, the goodness of the legendary weapon nerf that they did, you know? It's, it's really good. Uh, can I get my paycheck now, Bethesda? Thank you. Alright, so now that we're through most of these guys, you can tell it's going alright. Um, I've got real no issue with the weapon, it's just that I kind of want to use this thing more in a VATS playstyle, but it eats up the AP pretty quickly. There also might be some uh, secret legendary effect that the thing has that the game doesn't tell you about, but I don't know, there's not really massively overpowered feeling at the moment, so if, if anything's there, I can't notice it. Big whiff on that doggo. We're getting to a point where our strength is going to start being boosted fairly significantly, and our agility um, from unyielding, which is good for AP and good for damage in general, but, you know, we're close to dying. Um, I think I've got Radical on, actually. I could probably go... If it's still during the day, I could get myself a bit more strength and endurance if I drop this and this for solar powered. So now all this strength is giving me 44 and that adrenalized 478, pretty good. I don't have my bloodied one to compare with, but I don't know. I, I, I don't hate the damage at least. I've just had a Scorch Beast mule just to get my health back because this is going to hurt. Or is it? We'll see how we go. Now, we could sneak and one-shot all these guys by a power attacking. We probably don't need to power attack. Never mind. Looks like power attacking is the way to go here. Can I get that off my screen, please? Thank you. Uh, we'll get a little bit of VATS action here, just in case we get any random explosions. There we go. That's definitely helpful. Because I've noticed with the explosions that you get from hitting stuff in VATS and the legendary perks therein, uh, you'll find that the explosions, they go through things. They, they go through the floor, so I've actually managed to kill a lot of the ghouls down below. That may have actually got a few right there. <laughs> so that's good. Probably unintended, and if it's nerfable, they'll figure out a way. But generally in this game, explosives... Um, unless it happens like directly under the floor, I tried to power attack but did nothing because I was out of AP. Feels bad. That one, though, got the power attack in. But, yeah, um, maybe it's where the explosion the explosion is set. Maybe they just forgot to check the it can't go through walls thing. If, off the top of my head, there's some geometry checks that explosions do have. Or is that projectiles or something like that? It's a very legendary rich run at the moment. Cloaking T45. Oh, yeah, they made legendary power armor a thing. I don't know what to think about that, to be honest. Now, this guy's usually really tanky. Actually, luck on power armor would be pretty cool, but you don't really want to use that much in VATS anyway. I don't know. Um, the only character that would utilize power armor has got some sick legacy um, versions of a strangler heart, so maybe I'll have to give it more thought, but I can't think of the top of my head why I would go outside of power armor, especially since there's no one yielding. Maybe I should talk about the update in general, because there's a couple of significant things that have happened. They sort of, uh, they took away a little bit of that, uh, time gating, actually. Yesterday. Press the block button there, game. See, that person can block, I cannot. You notice how his health is getting worn down there by talons. That's kind of why you want to use, uh, vats against melee combatants, because they don't, I don't think they can block that, which is good stuff. And that guy's messing me up. Oh, wait, no, that one just blocked bats. Eat my words. Uh, that's okay, though, because we've got a ton more AP and strength now. And a power attack sends you flying and also exploding. It's good. So, yeah, time gating stuff. So, they increased the script limit per day. Good move. And the uh, balloon limit per day. That's great. I still think the time gating is way too much, but. You know, baby steps in the right direction. Hopefully, player feedback can persuade Bethesda to do away with it even more. But I, I understand how they got to have people playing, you know? If people that have nothing to grind for, they'll go and play something else. Like Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Get around it. It's good as. Ah, yes. I can't target him because that's... Maybe I should power attack him here. 
Yes. So that was a pretty stark difference there. You'll note that I did around 500, close to 600 when I uh, hit him normally. Power attacks, almost a 1,000. So that's fairly significant, especially in this day and age with additive damage calculations. All right, crab time. Um, probably want to start playing this a little bit smarter now because I've been able to, like, throw myself at a bunch of enemies and then, you know, not have to worry about it too much. See, there's a bit of damage over time. We've got a problem here, and we'll solve the problem by crippling every single one of its limbs. Yeah, how's that make you feel? And we'll do it again here. Never mind, that just killed him outright. So I've been playing the Legendary uh, Edition of Mass Effect recently, and I've been playing it on Insanity Difficulty, which is the most difficult variant, and the stark contrast between this game and that. <laughs> oh man. How do I put it into words how much easier this game is? I mean, sure, shit's bullet spongy, but you get a lot of chances just to heal yourself. You can play that game, this game with less than 20% health quite comfortably, given the right playstyle and gear. You wouldn't think about doing that on Mass Effect. Yikes. The time to kill is brutal, and I like it. When people talk about the damage nerf and everything, they cite, Oh, the game was too easy anyway. It's not like it got any harder. The problem was, you see... Do I even have Enforcer? I think I do. I'm just not hitting her in the right spot. Well, there's something. There we go. Okay, we kind of accidentally taken out half of her health doing that, but that's okay because we've got the follow-through bonus here. 1638. That's some good damage. We'll try to find her legs again. So that's why I chuck um, the that perk on all characters. Okay, you can stop doing that now. Thank you. There we go. Do they have damage over time? Is that why I died? Maybe. Alright, one final test for the face breaker. Can it break a giant bat's face? I reckon it can. Should be should be good. Uh, we'll try to get him a little bit closer. We'll cripple his wings, force it to land, and then we can start working on it. Uh, hopefully it wants to land over here more. It certainly does not. But we'll sneak in and start rearranging some features here. We're in danger now, because I got spotted. There we go, back in the caution, avoid that guy, not quite. Need these snoop criticals to be going, so we'll try to utilize escape artists here. Alright, that's good. That's good. Let's, let's just hit him in the face. Hmm, I missed it somehow. I don't know how I, I, don't know how I missed it, but I, hang on, was that just a normal... Did they nerf the Scorched? Hang on. Oh wait, I've got a, I've got Blocker. Okay, never mind. But they used to hit really hard, the punchy Scorch. Like, that one even put away his rifle because he knew he wouldn't be able to do jack with it. Alright, looks like we'll be forcing it another land. No more minions to spot me on this one. Cheeky little explosion there. And, yep, that's how you do it. We... I don't actually think we hit that thing in the face, but... We'll continue to try to do this. It is nice getting the the headshots with the melee weapons. I think there was a bit of, bit of discourse about that. People were saying it didn't work. I don't know who they'll listen to, but I'm fairly certain it does. You will notice that there's higher numbers, which I guess, you know, sometimes they lie. But, you know, this being the same as Fallout 4, I noticed that shit back in 4, all right? There we go. To the face of the face. Oh, don't you don't. Guess he does. So it's not a particularly uh, blazingly fast approach to uh, killing stuff. I definitely feel a lot better using my bloodied swing speed thingy. Obviously, that is proper god roll stuff and synergies and all that. We'll just hit this guy. We could probably beat him in a tank fight. Didn't get staggered there for some reason. Staggered in vats. It's always none. Alright. Beat him. Just went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Scorch Beast and lived. That wouldn't happen on Insanity Difficulty. That's for sure. Man. Well, kind of don't care about the rest of these guys. You know how this thing goes. It's 
it's a decent weapon. If you're new to the game, you've come into the game from, um... From the start, or not from the start, from, like, Steel Rain or Steel Dawn or something, and you're just starting out because people are saying, Hey, Fallout 76 is better now. Well, you've got yourself a weapon here that you might be able to use correctly and provide you make a good build for using it and utilizing weapons like it. You can pr do a pretty good job with it. I really don't have any complaints other than I've got weapons that are better than it, which is a complaint... It's a good re a good problem to have, but... Um, also, you can transfer this thing. I got this thing on my Stealth Commando character, dropped it in a thing, and then just picked it up on this one. So, yeah, even if you don't want to play through this thing twice, maybe if you don't want to do it on one character, or don't, have, don't want to do it on multiple characters, you can just transfer it over if you've got a friend or a private server. So that's good. Yeah, Face Breaker, pretty good. Definitely wouldn't break my own face with it, but I would break others. Thanks for watching. Bye.